UC Davis researchers have come up with an alternative ice cube. The jelly ice cubes do not melt. Yeah, joining us with more on this is Lucien Wong. She's an associate professor in the Department of Food Science and Technology. And also joining us is Jahan Zhou, a PhD grad student who has worked two years on this project. First, let's go with Dr. Wong. Can you walk us through the process of developing these jelly ice cubes? So, the idea of this uh, jelly ice cube, because we see the amount of ice being used by the food production chain, all the way from uh, harvesting to distribution and also during the display uh, of the food. So we want to develop this new type of ice cube that can save the water we use for uh, traditional ice. Uh, secondly, uh, the traditional ice, they will melt and generate water and those melt water can cross contaminate different pieces of food and bring those spoilage microorganisms or pathogenic microorganisms from one part of the food to another. Um, that can cause quality loss and also food safety concerns. Uh, another reason we are considering this new type of ice because we want a new type of ice that the end user can cut them into different sizes so that they can make the best contact between the ice cubes and the food that need to be cooled. All right, so the concept of reusable ice cubes, that is not new. So, Jahan, let's uh, talk to you about this. Why do we need this, and what really, really makes your invention different? Okay, so um, as you know, for regular ice, they melt. So, with the melt water, everything can be contaminated. But with this one, they stay in solid status all the time. And um, here I have a uh, unfrozen one. It's um, now it's room temperature is still in solid. So there's, um, we would say um, there wouldn't be a lot of quality losses or uh, microbial contaminations caused by this. Also, we um, supported by the USDA NIFA, we are successfully to make it with zero plastic. So we would say this is why we're, uh, very environmentally friendly and sustainable and um, customers can even compulse them after use. Yeah, compostable to top it all off. So, um, Dr. Wong, talk us through the steps from here. This is so fascinating and uh, interesting to hear about, but when could the typical person at, at home be able to have this available to them? When will it be commercially available? Sure, thank you. Um, right now, we are we just developed this prototype. Hopefully, down the road, we want to work with industry partners to make the production uh, can be more in a larger volume so that end user uh, customers can use them. All right. Very fascinating to hear about. We appreciate your time this afternoon. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.